<laughs> bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 411 Mamas. This is Chrissy, and today I'm here with a tag video. I'm going to do the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag because I do heart drugstore makeup. Question number one, what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? And that is an incredibly hard question to answer because I have a lot of favorites that come from this brand and then this brand, and I'm kind of all over the place. I don't have one set brand that I'm devoted to. If I had to pick, I would probably pick Revlon because I know that I could get a foundation, a powder, a concealer, you know, I could get everything out of there, although some of those things are my absolute favorites. I also wanted to mention the brand NYC because when I was thinking about this question, um, I was looking at what brand I had like the most products from that I liked, and NYC was actually up there at the top. Um, I love their powders. I love their Sunny Bronzer, this one here. It's probably one of my faves. You've all seen this. I love their waterproof eye pencils. Um, love their nail polishes. Their nail polishes are like almost at the top of my list of nail polish brands. And I do have some of their lipsticks too. Um, of course, there's a lot of stuff from that brand that I absolutely hate. <laughs> but I do like actually a lot of the stuff and it's one of the cheapest brands. Number two, what are your favorite face cheek and lip products. For face products, it's kind of a tie between Colorstay by Revlon and Nature Lux by CoverGirl. I could wear either of these on any given day and know that my makeup's not going to fail me, it's going to look great, and these are probably the only two I can say that for. My favorite cheek product is a highlight product and it is by Bonnebelle. It's called Blend and Glow and this is my all-time favorite highlighter. There's just something about it that I love, and I will always have this. I will always repurchase this. It is my favorite across the board. And my favorite lipsticks are the Rimmel Lasting Finish lipsticks. I just wish that there was more color selection because I would buy them all. This one's Airy Fairy. And it's just a classic color. Perfect for any time, any place. I have Crush which is another one of my favorites. It's a lighter coral color. And Pink Blush, which is another one of my favorites. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink color. And those are just my three top picks. I definitely have more of those lipsticks. For lip glosses, I really, really like the Revlon lip glosses. My favorite ones are the Color Burst ones, which are the longer ones. Um, I do also like the Super Lustrous, which are the shorter ones. These are good too, but they're almost hit or miss with me. Sometimes they make my lips peel, sometimes they don't. But these ones are always perfect, and I don't find they get mentioned enough. People always favor the other ones, but these are definitely my favorite ones. They do not make my lips peel, and I'm wearing this one right now. It's probably my favorite, and it's rose gold. It's beautiful. Question number three, what is your least favorite product? And usually I don't keep my least favorite products. I'll throw them out or give them away. But this one I kept for a reason. And this is probably my most disappointing. It's the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder. And I think there's different colors of this, but this is the pink one. It's supposed to be a finishing powder, which you could never, ever use it for that. Um, I bought it for a highlighter, but it's incredibly chalky and absolutely full of sparkle. I don't know if you can see that, but it is downright sparkly. And the reason why it's so disappointing is because when I bought this, it was hella expensive. It was like $11, $12 in Canada. And I don't even know if they make them anymore, and they're probably much cheaper now, but for those reasons, that's why it's my least favorite product, my most disappointing product. Best makeup bargain is the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. These are awesome, guys. Um, 
They have very, very pigmented colors, very bright colors. They also have some more neutral colors. Um, and I was late jumping on the bandwagon for these because whenever I looked at them and, you know, them being like a matte lipstick, I thought they would be really drying and they are not at all. They don't make my lips peel. Um, you could always wear a balm underneath them if you find them a little dry, but I really don't. And I like want every shade. I'm in love with these. Number five favorite underdog product or like a product that doesn't get a lot of love here on YouTube. And that is going to be my NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. I also like the Loose Face Powder, but this is my favorite. This is in Translucent, and they have, I think, two other colors. Um, translucent is kind of light. It's not exactly translucent, I don't find, but it's so smooth and buttery. And I've heard it be compared to um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Naturals. I can't vouch for that. I've never owned one. But they're not cakey. Um, I've owned so many of these. I keep repurchasing it. I just really love it. I use it every day. It's my favorite, favorite face powder of all time, probably. Number six, drugstore product that is overpriced. And that's probably going to be pretty much anything by Physician's Formula. Um, I don't have anything to show you because it's too overpriced and I don't want to spend money on it. Number seven, your best drugstore dupes. And that is going to be the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette. And these three colors are actually three dupes for MAC eyeshadows. The first one on top, the lightest shade, is a dupe for MAC Shroom. The second one, the brown one, is a dupe for MAC Cork. And the third one, the pinkish sort of toned one, is a dupe for Naked Lunch. And the quality of these is probably equally as good, if not better, than the MAC counterparts. So if you wanted to try any of those three shades by MAC, just go out and buy Walking on Eggshells by Wet n Wild. And the last question, number eight, is what is a drugstore product that you think is not worth all the hype? And there's going to be a lot of people that disagree with me on this one, but it is the Revlon Lip Butters. Um, I only have two of them. I bought this first one, which I really, really do like the color, the shade. I like it when you first apply it. Um, this is creme brulee, by the way. But two things with this one. One, it does have some shimmer in it, which a lot of them do, which I don't like. And number two, they make my lips peel. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but they do every single time. I could just scrape like part of my lip off. <laughs> I love this one also. It's like a purpley color and that is gumdrop. But I just can't wear them for very long. I really, really can't. And I wish that I could. And that concludes the I Heart Drugstore Makeup Tag. If you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. Leave it as a video response. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Mama.